welcome to my channel Delis Divoire. I'm Aisa here for you to discover amazing West African soul food dishes. If you want to be part of this amazing adventure, then we're on the right spot. So my tutorial are very simplified, targeting students, young diaspora that didn't get time to learn from the parents, also for African food lovers. So you can try all my tutorial and you'll get it straight in one go. So today the choice will go to Guinea Conakry. The dish is called Sumara Lafidi. Lafidi with Sumara. Thank you. Okay, here are the ingredients. We got the main one here that is called Sumara. In Nigeria we call it dry iru or Benin. Benin call it as well dry iru. You can get it in any African Caribbean shop. It comes as this type. It comes as this, truly dark and you know, beans. And for this, if you want to use it, you can soak it overnight. So once soaked, it becomes softer and it got a mushroom texture, really nice. In Guinea, people do not wash it because they think that it will take, take away the taste, the flavor, everything. But places like Senegal, they'll soak it, wash it, and it becomes like this. Also, this is the powder. That's the ground iru or sumra. That's one of ground it in, get like this. So this is just to show you how the sumra comes. Comes like this, you can turn into that and pound it before putting in your soup. Sumra has a very strong smell, like a cheese reason why French people call it the Camembert African. Also in Europe here, they compare it to Limburger and Indonesia and Vietnam, they compare it to a fish paste. Also in Australia, they'll compare it to Vegemite. The Sumura also has very good health benefits, such as a lot of vitamin B. It's a good source of protein due to free amino acids that releases during the fermentation process. It's good for low blood pressure. Once the sumra is cooked, the cheesy smell goes away, but the taste stays there and enhances the flavor, the food flavor, whichever you put it in. This is a dry fish, dry ground fish, dry ground prawns. This is another fish. They're sort of like small sardines, but dry. These come from home, okay? You can still get it in African Caribbean shop as well as it is, but the easiest way, just getting the powder, because this will be pounded after. Ground fresh okra, chili, eggplant. For eggplant, you can get many varieties, you know, small eggplants, and these are the one we get here easily. And here we got smoked mackerel. You can get it peppered one or plain, like this. Some onion. And the, all of it is done with brown rice, brown easy cook rice. And for those who watched my previous video last week, I did palm nut soup. And from this palm nut soup, I got the red oil uh, remove the oil and i promise you that i'll do a dish with that today which is with lafidi so here it is now i'll put the onion in the oil don't let the oil get too hot this is the rice the brown rice here okay washed and I'll put some salt in. And some of these will go with the cooked with it as well. This, I won't cook it in because kids here don't like chili. So I can put one in and the rest will go in there. Right. As you see, the onion, the onion has softened in the oil. So I'll now add the eggplant. I'm putting it now so it doesn't overcook. 
okay then i'll put about two scoop of sumara powder there also the dry prone and the dry fish powder as well some salt stir it all in Mm, I can smell the sumra already in the sauce. We have a feast today. So now it's got to this stage. I'll add my smoked mackerel, all of it. Stir it all a bit. Make sure you don't mush up all the fish. So the sumra lafre in a in way you can say it's uh, seafood, sea, dry seafood fish smoke or dry seafood dish. Alright, so I'll now add some water. Okay. I'll add some water for it to simmer. Now I've pounded the sumra, you know the soaked one, that's pounded. I'll add the dry fish and some prone in as well. Dry prone flour, powder, not flour, sorry. And, but if you don't have a dry soaked one, just use the powder as well, yeah? You use as much as you like. So I'll add more of these, you know, a bit of the powder. Here is a brown rice that is done. The rice doesn't need to be overcooked at all, so it need to look like this. This will pour this into it, into the bowl. Close it with the rice to steam. Okay. And now we come the blended fresh okra yeah. and close the oil all to steam there you are your lovely accompaniment is now ready onion soften we can smell the really beautiful flavor of the sumra and the dry fish the dry prawn powder so all you need now, serve your rice and feast on. Look at that. Mm. Oh, wow. You need to try this. Please, please try this. Try this. Try this. You'll be a hero for your family and friends. That will start. You will try to impress. You will really impress them. Trust me. Mm. Here it is. Our rice is now done. Yeah, the okra doesn't need to overcook either. Reason why we add it at the end. Okay, so I'll dish out and the sumra in the rice as well has gone has steamed up really nicely too. So here we go. Dish it out. Wow, the smell, the, the flavor amazing gives big appetite sumra we not too big fan of chili here so i put this aside now the eggplant the small version of eggplant need mashing it up with the rice and with sumra all together like this Okay, this is a sumarala free, already mixed. Oh, 
Okay, back on what we do, we'll take it, this spatula to shape around it and you get a sort of dome or if you want small mountain like this. You can drain the oil out if you want, but uh, for a good La Free, it always goes with a very good palm oil as well. Here is your La Free. You cannot go wrong with this. It's a really, really easy dish, really easy to make, and amazing, amazing flavor great taste know that there are many other ways to do in other country even in guinea you can just have rice as at its, its own with sumra in it with fish powder dry prone powder yeah that's how i make mine you can tell me put in comment how your grandma or your mama does a lafidi or how do you use the sumra or iru how do you use it back home i know it goes in the Put all this in the comment, okay? Put all this in comment. And in if you try making it, please, please, please let me know. Again, put in the comment. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and I'll be back again.